welcome to my channel 2C40 Gaming. I'm T Lindsay B. And right now I'm going to take you through my PS4 slash PS5 Fallout 4 load order that is heavy, and I mean heavy, on settlement building, it's heavy on crafting armor and gear, it's also heavy on overhauling NPCs and factions. So if you're someone like me and you're just really into exploring the world and sightseeing in games like this that's a part of your role-playing experience is just you know after you put about a thousand hours into a vanilla game it's time for something new and if the developers aren't going to give it to you modders will so i like to recreate my worlds with my load orders and that's what you'll see with this as well as my skyrim video i've done a couple days ago and all my future uh, load orders are going to be heavy on just making things look and feel different once you enter the world. So if you're like hardcore into gameplay itself and combat, this is not the load order for you, but I probably have some really good ideas in this load order. So stay tuned, stay with me, check it out, and give me your feedback in the comments. All right, let's get into it. First, we have the unofficial Fallout 4 patch. Of course, it's needed, it's necessary, we have it at the top. Then we have Settlement Electricity Overhaul, which lets you craft a wireless fuse box and have wireless electricity, so you don't have a bunch of um, copper wires everywhere and, and a whole bunch of conductors running sloppily through uh, your settlement bill. You have USO-based uh, game, which basically is unlocked settlement objects. So you have access to all of these uh, vanilla and uh, DLC um, crafted objects like early in the game. Simple Green comes in four seasons. I like spring. Um, it just makes the world look bright and vibrant, which is, well, different from vanilla. So changing things up. Armor and weapon keywords is just a sorting mod. Um, it's, uh, it's just going to sort things differently, I guess, um, in your workbench. Sort them better. USO Season Pass um, just basically gives you everything you want to build and craft with from the DLC. Better Landscape Grass um, is going to fix clipping with dense grass mods. Um, we need that here. The free fall set basically is restore content from the DLC, so lots of new things to do and see in the world. UCO base game is unified clothing overhaul, so um, you're going to be able to customize um, gear from the vanilla game and DLC as well. Um, well, we have that later on in here. That's like Nuka World right here. UCO uh, lets you overhaul the clothing. So color swaps, invisible armor, decal swaps. Um, you can layer armor, do a legendary swap, and craft like almost everything. <laughs> STC, base game. Uh, that means it's called... SEC is scrap that settlement so you can scrap everything in your settlement, settlement supplies, expand it. Adds a lot more furniture and things to your settlement, things that you can craft. Um, but you get beds, chairs, benches, chain link fences, the fence from Covenant, Covenant Settlement. Um, you get static decorative objects like cars, trees, rocks, etc. Vault Tech Everywhere lets you bring Vault Tech into your settlements as well. So now you can craft Vault Tech stuff as well as put Vault Tech buildings in your settlements. Free Crafter lets you craft lots of things. <laughs> with no perks and no materials right off the bat in the beginning of the game. 
Then we have cinder block walls and sandbags. So now you have those for your settlement. Unlimited resources shipment adds, wow, 99,999 of all resources for you to utilize at the start of the game. New character creation here. Um, this will give the husband, your player character, uh, an additional 49 special points to add for perks in combat, which is lore friendly because they did serve in you know the military before the bombs fell, so they should have some abilities to start off the game you know everything shouldn't be at zeros right so they have some combat perks at the start of the game idiot savant it's the perk that in the vanilla game the stupider you are or the lower your intelligence the luckier you are in the world this kind of just flips it around <laughs> and makes it so when you increase your intelligence you're luckier Increased EXP is just that. You get times 8 experience points for everything. First person animation tweaks just makes holding weapons um, in first person just look and feel better. When you're moving, they're not blocking your vision. You're holding them down. Quick hack and pick lets you pretty much quickly hack or pick locks. Um, on the first try. Destructible doors and gates. You get this sledgehammer at sanctuary at the start of the game that lets you just break down wooden doors like you would be able to do in real life um, instead of lock picking them or even be able to get into buildings you otherwise wouldn't be able to get into. Rich vendors gives merchants in the world more money. Faster positive affinity for companions is what it is. Um, you can finish their quest lines faster, garner their affinity, and get their perks a lot sooner. So this one here, no aggro impact landing, is if you like to wear power armor. I do sometimes. Um, but if you're jumping off of a building or coming from a really high place, usually the impact you make when you land causes friendlies around to become hostile toward you so this keeps that from happening i call that another quality of life mod right there dima's memories uh this allows you to skip the puzzle quest in far harbor which is just a little bit just too long and annoying it just drags out you could skip it and finish the quest line in far harbor the same thing with spare railroad um the Brotherhood quest line wants you to kill the railroad, so now you don't have to, and um, you can move forward. Not a nice guy gives you a bunch of weapons and armor at the start of the game to make you a little OP. And here we have some faction overhauls, starting with just a better Brotherhood of Steel and some buffed Minutemen. Um, they're just tougher, more resilient, better starting weapons, more potent armor. Harder to take down. Now the Minutemen are going to be much better in a fight. Um, if you're siding with them, that's a good thing. And we have companion combat overhaul. Um, making um, companions a lot tougher, making them a lot stronger in a fight and more resilient. We have Free the Vertebrates, which will give um, vertebrates signal grenades to pretty much all the merchants in the world and allow you to call vertebrates whenever you want to. I think prior to completing the Brotherhood of Steel quest line, so you get access to this early. I believe so. I haven't even tried it yet, but it doesn't hurt the game, so I'm going to try it eventually. Dismemberment overhaul just lets you shoot off limbs and um, the bad guys will keep trying to come at you while you're like with no arms and legs it's really cool and combine that with realistic gore and dismemberment there you go um, it's a bloody good time then you have uh, overgrowth um, immersive lively forest I believe this is so yeah that makes the forest and grasslands more dense and more foresty. Water redux makes the water look better and 
clearer and more realistic. Enhanced flickering fire makes the fire look more realistic and um, kind of pop. Welcome these, well these, the following mods pretty much just overhaul locations in the world and make them look different because that's what I really want. Welcome to Fallon's Overhauls the Store um, in Diamond City. Uh, DC Glory Expansion Pack 1 Light overhauls Diamond City completely. I mean, it doesn't really look like the same place. I have the light version because the full version has caused me some glitches. I have problems getting into it, but this overhauls the whole thing. It's good enough. Respawns, home plate decorated. The home plate in Diamond City, your player home there is completely furnished. They're static objects. It's ready to go. You don't have to do any crafting or building in it when you get it. And I do believe you get it right away. I haven't checked yet. But you might be able to get home plate um, at the start of the game. Antidotes better. Good neighbor adds clutter to good neighbor. Minuteman watchtowers adds watchtowers around the wasteland with loot and places for you to sleep. Nikki's Settlement Cleanup cleans up the settlements and um, flat, flattens them too and makes them easier to build on. The Castle Revamp, got a lot of mods here. The Castle Revamp uh, basically makes the castle for the Minutemen look like new and it is easier to build upon as well. The walls are built up and there's only... Um, believe there's only like one main entrance so it's easier to defend nuka world glory overhauls nuka world so it doesn't look like a crappy place run by uh raiders it looks like the place just shut down for the year yesterday so it restores nuka world a bit enhanced print win overhaul makes the print win interior look different Plenty of exploration adds locations to the world for you to explore. New locations. Settlement border expansion increases, um, extends the borders to all, extends the vanilla borders to the settlement so you can build more and expand. So you can really make the world look different, like just whole new towns. Dogs not Brahmin because Brahmin are big and it's hard for them to maneuver places and it gets annoying. There's also another mod that turns Brahmin into like nuka girls or something like that. So pick your poison. Replace all insects. I'm a bit phobic so roaches are now chickens and a lot of other bugs in the world are something else. Also anti-phobia feral ghouls. These aren't mods you need. These are my quality of life mods. Um, you do what you do. Um, I'm just tired of feral ghouls. They're boring to me. But now there's like crazy raiders that run and move like feral ghouls do, but now they have armor and guns that you can loot. Busty mod adds big boobs. Concord NPC overhaul. Um, basically overhauls the appearance of Sturges, Mama Murphy, June Long, and Marcy Long. Busty, these are all like some NPC um, appearance changes here. Um, Busty Piper and Busty Curie, if you want them Busty, um, you use this particular mod along with the Busty mod. It works in this order. New Preston, McCready's uh, more muscular. Valentine is a handsome detective. Privateer Hancock. Hancock is no longer gullified. Um, he looks like some kind of pirate. <laughs> Pre-war Codsworth is shiny and chromed um, as if he's fresh off the factory floor. Ada, the robot from Automatron that becomes your companion, is now a person, but her mouth doesn't move when she talks. Simple Settlers overhauls Settlers. Um, they are now immortal. Um, they're less generic looking, they have names, and you can get kid settlers now that will help out around the place. Legendary Pip-Boy skins will um, change 
give you new pit boy looks and perks all map markers uh, for fast travel is here so we can fast travel right off the bat go where we want to go maybe just straight to diamond city louder workshop radios you can get your tunes going from the radios you can hear them at a further distance mini gun improvements not necessary but since you get a mini gun early in the game in concord you may as well um Plus, it's usually like really weak later on in the games. You don't really have a reason to even want to use a minigun. Now you can because it's like more badass. Stronger vanilla weapons, same idea. Grognax bodysuits. Um, I'm going for a sexy roleplay here, so yeah. There's some bodysuits. Longer headlamp. Light distance, rain of brass lets you see the shells drop to the ground when you're shooting. And pile up as well. Ultimate jetpack ring. You'll find this ring in a lunch pail at the Red Rocket as you're leaving Sanctuary. You'll see dog meat. You'll go to the lunch pail, put this ring on, and now you basically have a glorified jetpack just on your finger. So you don't need to um, craft anything and you don't need to wear power armor. And there, here's immortal power armor. So your power armor doesn't fall to shit. Um, if you are a power armor person, I like it sometimes. I like the look of it, so I'll rock it sometimes. Unlock Ballistic Weave early in the game, reverb and ambiance overhaul, uh, more appearance changes, Commonwealth visual overhaul. Um, it says this mod may or will conflict with other mods that alter weather, lighting, interiors, fog things of that nature no build limit all DLC so now for your DLC settlements you can build much further out clean and smooth this doesn't conflict with any of my other mods that I've noticed so far but I do want to make sure I've got clean slates on my settlements because I want to do a lot of settlement building and then there's place everything um, it says if you ever wanted to give your settlements that extra cool look, this mod adds 777 new craftable items to workshop mode. So happy crafting, happy sightseeing, 108 megabytes. That's it, you guys. So <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of it. Give me some more ideas in the comments. Tell me what your favorite mods are. Is there? I've got room to add more mods to this. So if you think you got something that might complement it, let me know. Um, I can't wait to start my new playthrough again with it. Um, yeah, and stay tuned for lots of Skyrim vids. This is T Lindsay B for 2C40 Gaming. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time.